All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to um, Slug Bugs, the show where we review slugs. I think that was a pretty good slug, but this one's even better. What do you think? I would give it at least um, a seven out of ten. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I think that's a, a fair rating. You know, we we try to rate on sliminess, overall ooze, uh, you know, those sorts of factors. I mean, and, um, it's like, it doesn't exactly tickle my tits, but it's uh, it's better than nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's not like when you accidentally see a snail and think it's a slug, that's the worst. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, like, a, that's like a two. Yeah. So, remember when I died to this guy? Watch, watch as I learn lessons. I mean, eventually. See, I had an idea originally, and then I got lazy. See, you can kill these things with your minions just by being careful with them, but you know how I am and careful isn't one of those words? And also they follow you... Wait, does that slug have a ranged attack it was using it on It does. Me? It just I did. never knew that. Oh my goodness, but... look at that. I didn't know... It does so little damage to anything, I never noticed it. So when you get those guys really low, they walk around for a little while, and then predictably, predictably, there you go. And also kill that ineffective slug. Yeah. No big deal, he was just a six. Yeah, he, he, he didn't compare to those sevens from earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, so here's a wall, and I can't break through it with my mimiums. Oh, what could oh, this no, be? Like you couldn't, you couldn't pull those rocks to the side. No, that'd be so. way too much work. And see, I've got, do you see how skilled I am now? Remember when I fifteen killed times two in minions a row? doing that? <laughs> yeah, we just lose every single minion I used for this. Nah, now I've got it. So all of those, t like, the degree of tutorials that they gave me earlier was really ridiculous. But I needed it. Mm. Um, now we're bearing down on their stronghold. Which, ah, uh, yeah. Listen to that music. Get getting some real overlord in there. Uh, but once you oh, get into the Oh, by the way, the we halls, should probably mention there. There was one part in the in the middle. In between of those oh, yes. that was cut out because it achieved nothing besides one line of dialogue confirming that elves are wimps. Yeah, the elves say that they should have died in battle, run in and die in battle. It's very compelling. Um, so, see that guy? He throws those little bombs. And the thing here is, like, he throws them and I gotta... See, I'm thinking, oh, I'll get him to just throw it at the door for me. But really what you're supposed to do is actually pick it up. Pick it up and throw it back at him. No, you can't throw. You pick it up and drop it at the door. Uh. No, that's actually pretty clever. Well, maybe you can throw it back at him. I have no idea if you can. But this is how you're supposed to do it. Maybe there is a way to get up there. Yeah, I mean, how I do it eventually. Enter? I'm just saying throw it. What? How did they enter? They just spawn right there. Yeah, they literally... You could see them snap into place. It's sort of like, if you paid attention, the smirking lady in the tomb, where she mm -hmm. just hoverboarded out of there. Also, I don't know why this door takes, like, 15 of them. But it does. Especially since there are the some first doors one that made... Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm the... But I'm, so, I'm so... Remember how I said I would never lose all my minions to that again? I got so good at it. I mastered it, because all the tutorials. Right, and remember also when we had a million greens earlier? Yes. That number that number's gone down. <laughs> we still have a lot. Uh it's gonna continue to go down. <laughs> but um if you're fighting uh in against the big dwarves, this is a great mix to have. Mostly greens and a few blues to revive them. Blues are going to revive. Oh, and then I have to run now because uh, there was an explosive dropped over there. 
So unfortunately, uh, some of my greens are going to die. And now I'm trying to sweep, but the blues aren't listening because of uh, that whole thing where sometimes some of them are assigned and others aren't. And Look, I'm really good at this game. If there's one thing to take away, it's that I am the master. And this is why you have blues attack uh, physically. Yeah, because if you use your greens to attack, that's too easy. I play on the hard mode, blues only. That would be the most boring game. <laughs> it's it's called the Blues Clues Percent. Blues Clues Percent. You get an achievement Just, for that, which is called yeah. exactly that way. Yep. Also, I mean, this is just a bad way to run this fight. Like... You, you you don't funnel your own minions into them, you know. You try to surround them with your minions. Especially with the greens, you want to be backstabbing. But, blues are super useful, and I didn't lose any minions because of it. From that part. Well, from that, from that fight, yeah. Part. From the earlier fights, yes. Uh, but I also kind of think this is a weird design. Um, and somehow one of them ended up up there. So when they jump onto something's back, or as we might see on footage, but it definitely happened a million times in my playthrough, uh, when they jump out of the portal, they can end up in some weird glitchy spots where they could never be reclaimed from. From which they could never be reclaimed. Oh, uh, this is why he... and Like there. Yep. They jump up on someone's back, That they jump off, and that's what happens. And also that green is just on that guy's back. And you it's really neat because greens can wow. jump on these big guys' back and not take damage and just destroy them. And that, that's why they're the best, because they do the most damage out of any minion. Uh, if I was really min-maxing and paying attention, I would use a berserk and greens and anything would die instantly. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm not, and I'm dumb. And, uh, and they have a wall. Wow. Hey, that's mean. Listen, I, I can't hit those guys uh, with with my minions, so you know, I'm just gonna. I'm no, just gonna make just, the best of this. Bad this is just mean placement. Yeah, there is things you're supposed to do, and it's also, not what I Also, don't pay attention to the brat child in the background. Uh, yeah, Nico. Nico has a lot of children. A lot of uh, ex-wives, a lot of child own. support, a lot of child support he has to pay, regardless of what he might claim. But see, I'm supposed to have put them up there and then run them down that little bit of rocks and killed those guys. But me working? Psh, nah. But anyway, that's that's the uh, main like area, but I'm surrounded by baddies and not really equipped with any way <laughs> with any way to deal with them. So you I need just to... need free. <laughs> I need to go what I need to do is I need to go back to the spawn point and uh, spawn some more. Uh... <laughs> but uh there's a whole bunch of dwarves in my way. And uh, I mean, so you, you have you have two. You're you're fine. No, I have three again. Thank you, because that blue is gonna res that guy. Uh, so I just spam my fireball spell and uh, rely on that, and I accidentally end up over here. Where? Oh, wouldn't you? No, there's a little health upgrade thingy. And a lot more dwarves. And a few more dwarves. And. Uh, look, I'm even getting more, uh... It actually didn't end up quite as badly. No, when... When there's less minions, they uh, are less likely to, uh... Kill themselves. Actually, they're less likely to be in the blast radius, because there's, you know, they take up it's, less space. It's easier to control them because the... Smaller That's center of mass. Right, right. Um, but yeah... Almost, like I said, most of the times when I get these, I've cut it out. Um, but, but since this time you have I to get to get back to the to the right. place anyway, 
right. and it's the way is clear. Right. So I just figured since I'm walking back, I thought that might be an alternate route back to the spawn. It's not. Um, but it's beneficial anyway. Right, and you, I'm gonna need all that health because, as you've seen, you die pretty quickly if you get into the wrong spot. Or rather, well, some some of these attacks just seem like one-hit kills, regardless. Um, it nothing is as far as I've seen that I can think of. I mean, there must be poison something, actually. The fire attack, but that that just did a lot of damage very quickly. It was not actually a one-hit kill. If you watch, you can see the different ticks of damage that it did. It just is so fast that it's like one. Uh, later on, and I remember the... Uh, uh, oh my gosh, I can't... Beholders. The Beholders uh -huh. that uh, Sugar Plum was traveling with. Yes. Those not only do an incredible amount of damage, but if, you, if you're standing directly underneath them, but if you do so, they knock you down. So you walk underneath them, they knock you down, and two-shot you, basically. It's going to happen. Hmm. Kind of reminds I, I, me I'm of... I'm going to learn that lesson first Kind of reminds and, me of Medusa's from uh, Record of Lodos. There is nothing in your way. Your health is yeah. From Record of Lodos War. Uh, basically, they themselves are not that dangerous, but they always appear surrounded by everything else. So they petrify mm. you, and then something else kills you in one hit. No, these these do both. These knock you down and do the damage. And the worst part is there is no such thing as uh, uh, preventing getting uh, getting petrified in the game. Mm. Like you can prevent most There's other no statuses, immunity. not petrification. Ah, uh, there's no cleanse. Like, uh, it goes away on its own, but you can't prevent it from happening in right. its entirety. Uh, you can lower the chance of getting it, and, well, no, I, uh, you can shorten the time that you are ah. petrified. You and that's the only thing you can do. You have crowd control reduction, but there's no crowd control immunity. Yes, exactly. Also, do you love this, or do you love this? Just getting blown to shreds by those archers back there. While my greens just stand around because sometimes when you have them at rally points they just decide not to attack. I think I think the reasoning is that they're set up to only backstab, so they need to have either a way to jump on something's back. I can or... imagine that it's one one of those uh, things where they're trying to get hidden, but they can because they're getting hit. Maybe. And that sort of uh, tunnel visions their AI. Yeah. Yeah. There's some funky AI. Oh, and now we come across a different route, which we need the to... The Mother Goddess statue. Stolen. They make us work. Build a new temple. Ugh. I confess, Master. I have been hatching somewhat of... Ooh, let's call it a cunning plan. I, won't bore you with I hope it involves lots of cunning stunts. I do love how that minion, that one minion, just walked into the conversation, seen him <laughs> die, and just went off. Yep. Very tactful. He just wanted to make sure he was all right. Yeah, you know, caring types of minions. There's the statue. Judging by that walking cliff face down there, the dwarves are expecting trouble. So, if you start hearing the Lost Woods theme in your head at any point during this, that's completely reasonable. Uh, when I actually do it. Yep. <laughs> in the next part. <laughs>